What is up, my beautiful babes and games of the world? It's your girl Keelan, aka it's Keelan, and I am back with another another freaking video. <laughs> today's video um actually before i start that i want to apologize for not posting as much as i should guys i know i have been really slacking and being consistent but um as y'all know like i in my previous videos i was feeling really really horrible like i was sick on top of having allergies which as you guys can still hear i am still kind of stuffed up so i did not want I really don't like how I sound, so I don't want to force y'all to listen to me sound all easily and stuff. So I don't want to continue to do that, you know, I mean, post like that. But it's been too long since I posted a video, and I really need to start back posting on here because I just feel like it has not, it's been so long since I've talked to y'all, and it's only been like a week or two. But still, like, no. But uh, yeah, so I want to first start off by saying that. As y'all can see, I'm in a completely different background. I'm actually at my mother's house. Uh, which is number the second reason why I also haven't been posting as much because uh, recently my lip gloss business has, has been picking up. I'm not gonna say it started to take off. I mean, it is. I'm not. I'm gonna give myself credit where credit is due. So I uh, I just hit over a thousand dollars in sales on my on my website alone. Not even counting like the people that I sell a lip gloss too like in person but i just hit over a thousand dollars in sales on my lip gloss uh on my business on my website alone so this is pretty much a kind of like get to know my business story like why i started simply luscious by keelan so a lot of people know it's because the area where i live pretty much we don't have the lip gloss that i make like you have we don't because I make pretty much glitter glosses or just glosses to heal your lips, you know? Like, a lot of times there's a bunch of stuff in glosses and it's not, like, natural. It's just, you know, it's there to give you that shine. Well, the glosses I make, I make two types of glosses, or not two types of glosses, but I have, like, glitter glosses and I have um, non-glitter glosses or just, like, clear glosses. Um, and I also do custom orders, so if you like, oh, you like the gloss, but you don't want the glitter, I got you. I do that as well. A lot of people just, uh, the, or message me and be like, hey, you know, because I have it to where you can message me on my website, or if you have my Instagram and Snapchat, all of that is on my business cards, but if you just sign it, people outside, so, but, um, you know, all of that is on my website, so if you ever, yeah, so if you ever, um, want to order a gloss and you don't like glitter you can always message me i put it on all my business cards which speaking of the business cards i'm going to just show you what they look like now it's pretty much my logo on the front and then my information including my phone number is on the back so there are multiple ways that people can get in contact with me email i think it's on there oh no um so it's my snapchat instagram youtube uh my website and my phone number instead of my email number i mean instead of my email everything is on there so yeah if you guys want to get in contact with me through my email that is also on my uh, instagram it's just simply luscious by keelan at gmail.com i will put it on the screen so you guys can see it i will also link my website down below so you guys can see it that way as well so um now that I've, you know, prefaced this video and chitter, or chatted you guys up a while, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what made me start some delicious by Keelan. Now, a lot of you guys know, which again, I'm going to say the first reason was because where I live, they don't have the glasses that I make. But the, the, the main reason that I started some delicious by Keelan is because I am 21 years old. Which means technically I should be in college. I did my first year of college and I didn't even finish my first year of college. And it was, I don't know if it was because of college I went to. I'm not going to put them out or anything like that. But it was, you know, it was my dream college that I wanted, that I got accepted into. And, um, you know, one of my professors there was really racist. And she was like, I don't, I don't want to call her racist, but 
the, the thing that she said was very racist. She and she called. She just said she was giving statistics. Maybe she was, but that entire class, uh, that entire school, you know, there was barely people of color. Um, so, I mean, I'm not gonna say barely in a school, but in my class, there were only like maybe two or three. Me and my cousin were the two, and maybe one other person. And she specifically looked at us, and she goes. Because you're a woman, and because you're a woman of color, you you are most likely to kill yourself within the first year of, you know, being in, at the school. Now, I don't, I don't, I, and I, it, that didn't sit right with me. You know, I didn't tell my mom and everything like that, and it just didn't sit right with me. Um, so, I was just like, you know, maybe this isn't for me. So... Uh, after that, I went straight back to working. Now, I was, I was working while I was in college, and I was also working, I was working before college, working while I was in college, and then as soon as, uh, well, while I was in college, and then after I decided to stop going to college, I was still working. So, you know, there's always going to be jobs where you have those people that, you know, you just love. They're like a family. It's like a great place to be at work. And then you get those jobs where it's just like, you're miserable like, and it's not like you hate the job it's just so sometimes it's the people that make the, the experience just so horrible but it's a great job so I decided that I had enough and I wanted to do this because you know I always had a plan for everything every ever since I was little I had a plan go to go to work I mean go to go to work go to college after college get my degree I mean well let's start from the beginning finish high school go straight to college go finish college get my you know uh dream job first I wanted to be a lawyer then I wanted to be a doctor college wasn't really a part of the plan anymore because it just that college wasn't for me that college kind of just ruined the experience of college in general for me um but uh yeah so I decided that that college specifically just was not for me, so I decided to go back to just straight working after I stopped going to college. So I went to work at my work. Um, and again, this is just one of those jobs where you love the job, but some of the people just make it to where you just don't like being there. And I'm just gonna be honest, like the the people, the customers, you just don't like being there because there's something about people, like I don't like people just being messy at work for one. And then the customers, sometimes like I get it, people have bad days, but you don't know what someone is going through. And for you to just treat them a certain way because of how, where they work, I just wasn't with that. And you, also where I live, I'm not gonna lie, there are still racist people. I've experienced a ton of racism while I was at work, but I cannot do nothing about it. So like, I decided that enough was enough. I am going to be my own boss. My mom is an entrepreneur and my dad is an entrepreneur. I was like, cool, I got two entrepreneurs for parents. Let me start, let me be my own boss, mind you. Nobody helped me start up my business. I did this all on my own. At the time I, when I started my business, I don't even think, it was in May of 2019. Yeah, I had a job. Um, So I just started, like, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do this. And what, what ticked me off was, I was literally talking about, man, I need some lip gloss. <laughs> and my mom was like, I know, we need to go back home to get lip gloss because we're obviously not from here so we were like we need to go back home from, to get some lip gloss and what we mean by home is like the Gary area Chicago area stuff like that where they have beauty supplies and you know you get lip gloss well they don't have that out here because I'm living in like the suburbs so I decided I'm gonna make it so I did my research and my first three lip glosses that I made were Peak Glaze um Golden Girl and Pearl, and my business was born. May, I want to see the like May 18th, May something, 
2019 is long enough. I know the May of 2019, May of 2019, my business was born. Um, so I, I really, when I first, when I first started my business, I was pushing it so hard, pushing it so hard, but I did not get the results I wanted. And honestly, I was being really, like, I wasn't being fair. Um, for myself because I was expecting to know you know for my business to take off right from the start which is not gonna happen it's, it's not I'm gonna tell you the truth it's not gonna happen uh, I've been have my business for an entire year now and it's just now starting to pick up how I sorry guys it's just now starting to pick up how I wanted to um, and I'm grateful for that I am so grateful for that so with that being said it is just honestly all about the work that you put into it now being your own boss is great awesome amazing but it is rigorous work it is not just a normal nine to five it is a nine to nine like you are working from the time you get up to even before, like there are a lot of nights where or a lot of days and nights where I wake up before Victor I'm working on my phone I go to bed, I mean, we are laying down in the bed. He's like, okay, do you want to go to bed now? I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm kind of tired. He goes to bed. If I can't sleep, guess what I'm doing? I'm up till 5, 6 the next morning still working my business. Because it is, when you are a, uh, an entrepreneur, you are constantly giving your, or promoting yourself. It is constant work. It's not like, especially for a small business. Like, if you're up there, then, you know, everybody you're up there everybody knows about you but for a small business not a lot of people know about you so you're constantly promoting yourself you're constantly doing whatever it takes now I said that because being an entrepreneur while it is fun it is hard work if you do not have that drive you will not succeed and I learned that the hard way because I'm gonna show you guys um, I'm gonna show you guys. I learned that the hard way. So, I'm gonna give you some statistics, some information. Last year, last May, I had, when I first started my business, I had 105 visitors to my page. Now, mind you, I started like the late, late, late May. Uh, I started maybe around like May 20 something, so there wasn't that much time left in May. But I literally only had, excuse me, I literally only had two orders and I had 105 visitors to my page. June, I started to pick up a little bit, had 312 visitors, but only five orders. July, I, I went on vacation. This was around the time I went on vacation. So um, I had 71 orders or 71 visitors and only two orders. Now, August is where, or July, I was like, you know what? I've literally only had maybe, like, nine orders for, like, three months. But I wasn't counting the people that were just buying lip gloss from me. And I also was not promoting myself the way I am now. So, I wasn't making that, you know, that money. I was just, I was honestly just expecting it to happen overnight, which is not going to happen. Like, yes, you make it lucky. Every year it does, but let's be honest, it's not going to happen overnight. So, August, I literally had no orders. September, I didn't even care. Like, I, I had zero visitors, zero orders. That's how you know I gave up because I stopped promoting. Same with October. November, I kind of picked it back up and I had 175 visitors and three orders. December, I quit again and I had 45 visitors and no orders. January of 2020, I kind of picked it back up again. I had 160 visitors with four orders. February, two orders. But the whole month of February, I was promoting, but I went about doing it the wrong way. Um, so I had 173 visitors and two orders for the month of February. And then March, I didn't sell anything, but I had visitors. April, I had one order and 93 visitors now may is where i started to pick up may i made well and i'm not even gonna say may the end of may is where i started to pick up i made 
I had 931 visitors to my page and just by the end of May. And I'm gonna say the end of May, like May 20, May 22nd and on. Like May 22nd and on is when I started to pick up selling. So I had 48 orders in May alone. And I made over five hundred dollars, and and I'm gonna say from May 20, and it was from May 22nd. Now I'm looking at the calendar, May 22nd, and there's 31 days, so 10 or 11 days, and I had and I made five hundred and eighty-five dollars, and I sold and I made and I have 48 orders. Now obviously, if I had started this or picked it back up the way I should have at the beginning. I obviously could have had a lot more, but I didn't until late May. Because on top of all of this, it, with us being a corona, I, uh, with us being a corona, with, with, the, with, with this pandemic going around, I really wanted, or I really started to pick up my business back in February, but I ran out of everything because honestly, I was not continuing. I was not expecting to continue my business. And I'm gonna be honest, because I wasn't getting the sales. I knew I loved doing it, but I wasn't getting the sales, but also I wasn't promoting myself. So it was just, yeah. But, so June, I have already gotten 37 orders in, and it is only June 7th with almost $400. I'm at $393.88. So, what, what, with me saying that, if you honestly, the way I promoted myself now, you can see the passion I have into this. With me, the reason I, I go so hard is because I know, now that I know what I'm doing, I'm not even gonna say I know what I'm doing like that, but now that I, I have my target audience, I know how to promote myself the right way without being a salesperson versus just talking to somebody and being like, oh, if I happen to come across their page and stuff like that. Honestly, I didn't even know I had 37 orders already until I just looked at it. I thought I only had like 12, but I haven't, I don't know. I, it is, it's just a lot of work that goes into it. So if you don't have that drive, maybe being your own boss is not for you. Now, I will um, go ahead and, you know, put people's testimony and stuff like that because another reason I started this is because you know you know if you are from like the region and or you are from like you know if you have local beauty supply stores and you get the lip gloss from there instead of giving it from like I don't know high end brands you know that the consistency of the lip gloss that you want you know so for me personally i would prefer a beauty store lip gloss over a high-end brand lip gloss and it's not because one is cheaper it's just i love how my lips are shining right now love that and this is a beauty store but it's my personal lip gloss and this is one that i have not put out yet but i made it i i haven't put it out on my website because Again, I'm going, I make my stuff, I test it myself, and I'm not going to put out something that, you know, can harm someone. I'm always, before I make anything, I test it. I mean, before I sell anything, I test it out first. I give initial reactions and everything. I will risk everything. I just want to show you all this. Lips are popping. I just want to show y'all that. Um, but like I was saying, I make everything by hand. Obviously, I always wear gloves. I always disinfect, sanitize everything before I start because I just think of it. Would you want somebody, if you're doing a business, would you want somebody to not, you know, would you want them to make it in a dirty area and stuff like that? No, you wouldn't. But um, I make everything and I test it out and my mom and I give it to my mom and I give it to my sisters. I give it to at least three to four different people to try out before I ever sell it. My mom has like five different lip glosses now 
from what I've just been making as of recently uh, because I never want anyone or anything to go wrong. Your lips, pretty much the center of your face. I know it's not the actual center of your face, but when you notice, when you're talking to somebody, you notice their lips. I don't want anything to happen to where you guys are like, oh, this messed up my lips or anything like that. Those, that is, I don't even care that it's bad for business. I personally would feel defeated. You know, if my product ever did that to someone, and I hope and I pray that it never happens. This is why every every ingredient that I make my lip gloss with is on my is underneath <clears throat> the product. I don't care if people, you know, use the same formula I use. I don't care. But you are, I'm gonna make sure everything is safe, you're not allergic to anything and all that, everything like that. So with that being said, I am about the quality of my work versus the quantity of my work. I do not care who has this versus how many they have versus what I have. I care about the quality of my work. And so you guys don't think I'm lying about anything, I will insert people's testimonials all over my screen if I have to because I would rather you enjoy my my lip glosses uh, versus they give you an allergic reaction or you break out or something like that yeah so yeah um, I'm sorry I kind of got off topic there but I just wanted you guys to know a little bit of, more about why I decided to start Simply Luscious by Keelan. So yeah, um, if you guys are wanting to shop my website, it will be down in the description below. Uh, give this a big old like, comment, share, subscribe, and yeah, ultimate stay classic with the trashy.